This is a super easy trick that will make your stainless steel pan a non-stick one. I'm Christina and welcome back to Hacks with Christina. I know the struggle of wanting to use a stainless steel pan for everything, but then having a huge mess to clean up at the end of cooking because of all of the stuck on food. But with a little practice and patience, you'll nail this technique and you will love using your stainless steel pans. This technique is all about getting your stainless steel pan to the right temperature. Place your stainless steel pan on the stovetop and set the heat to high. Give it about two minutes to really get that metal nice and hot. If the temperature of the pan is too low, the food will stick. If it's too high, the food will stick and burn. So we're looking for that happy medium. This is where the mercury ball test comes into play. We'll just be using two to three drops of water. You can use your fingers or a dropper. You will flick a few drops of water onto the pan surface. The goal is to get the water drops to form into a small bead that floats around the pan indefinitely. This bead resembles a mercury ball. This is when you know your pan is the correct temperature. If you flick the water onto the pan and it sizzles and quickly evaporates, the temperature is too low. You will need to wait a bit longer before testing again. If the water drop disperses quickly and forms many other beads that evaporate, the pan is too hot and you will need to remove the pan from the heat source for a minute and then try again. When the correct temperature is reached, the water drop will keep rolling around the pan indefinitely. Once you get the pan to the correct temperature, turn the heat down a notch and now you can add your cooking fat of choice and ingredients. The technique will take a little trial and error and patience, but it will start to become second nature and your food will never stick to your pan again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more tips. Happy cooking and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.